the cinematographer on this film, who's a good friend of mine, um, was a woman and a mother. Um, when I was making this film, obviously I'm a woman and I'm a mother. Um, not the obvious part of the mother. <laughs> but, um, and that interview was so painful and, and powerful for all of us because we basically left sort of completely identifying with her. She is just, and one of the things I'm struck by is those children were so well behaved. I don't know if you noticed that. It's like they were, they were well behaved. They knew what they had to do. They were supporting their mother. I mean, she just really, um, we just, we were, we were struck by, you know, as he says later in the movie, there but for the grace of God, it was like she was a mom trying to take care of her children. And it was, we all left, I mean, Mark expresses it in the film, but we all left feeling how he expressed in the film, that we were all just completely shattered sort of by how difficult it was for her just to sort of keep her kids, you know, in a place to stay. And I would also say we had a screening in Evanston, um, and one of the discussions that came up afterwards is that there is going to be, in a short period of time, no affordable house housing in Evanston. The, the housing market is, su is such there that there's just not going to be any homes that people can afford that are not in a certain um, bracket, you know? And that's what you're talking about. It's like, this isn't just about, you know, whether living in a shelter or this or that. It's like just regular affordable housing for people who aren't sort of very wealthy, and I think that's a growing trend.